Well, it may not look like it, but this is a scientific laboratory. Hey, John Bartel here, making a little pit stop in Soda Springs at the Central Sierra Snow Laboratory. When the snow starts to pile up in the mountains, so does the workload for Andrew Swartz. We tend not to, to trample too much all over it in the winter because of course, we're taking measurements of the snow. Andrew's a scientist with the UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Laboratory in Soda Springs. And if you want to talk to him, you have to trudge through the snow just to meet him. Sure would be nice if this was plowed. Well, scientists at the snow lab do pretty much what you'd expect. They study snow, and the research at this facility has been going on since the mid-1940s. The government, Army Corps of Engineers, and a few others realized that we didn't know enough about hydrology uh, and kind of had issues managing some of our dams. To learn more about the hydrology, scientists set up a variety of oddly named instruments in an open field in Soda Springs. That's the sonic snow depth sensor. Got our missile gauge, a neutron sensor, an infrared radiometer. Snowfall in the winter provides water for rivers in the summer. Andrew and scientists before him live at the Sierra snow lab year round so they can provide daily forecasts. Is all snow created equal? <laughs> all snow is not equal. This is very much not Sierra cement that we're used to. The Sierra cement he's talking about is hard snow packed with moisture, but Andrew says for the past several years the lab has been recording light fluffy snow with low moisture and that's one factor that causes drought. If we hope to come out of this drought at all or even just maintain it, we absolutely have to have good storm systems throughout the winter. From the Central Sierra Snow Laboratory, I'm John Bartel. Hope to see you on the back roads.